It looks like any other staff meeting, but this gathering at a Sydney water treatment plant reflects a revolution in industrial relations. The meeting is being jointly run by the chief executive of the business and the secretary of the union, which represents the staff. It's a remarkable thing um, considering the past, because I don't think that ever occurred before, but it's something that we're doing more and more. There's no way whatsoever that would have happened three years ago, no way. Um, it would have been me addressing the members and they would have been passing resolutions, probably condemning the managing director and probably, you know, in another few hours they'd be out on strike. We've been rolling out a new um, strategy and structure um, discussions with the business and at each of those we've welcomed union delegates to be there and people from the ASU. This is a new way of operating for Sydney Water, which is Australia's largest water utility. Just three years ago, the organisation had a very different relationship with its workforce. It was war. What happened in the past was that we were making changes. It was announce and defend. It was we would consult, but really we wouldn't change our mind. And uh, it was described as that we were the circle of persistence and seeing what we need to do, and the unions were the circle of resistance. So they would slow us down as much as possible. We had been on strike probably four or five times. We are in the middle of a huge dispute. We were um, constantly before the commission with disputes. I think we probably had about 12 running at that time. We had our own personal commissioner, I reckon. You know, there was someone constantly on roster to deal with the disputes that would generate out of Sydney Water because the relationship was so bad. We were in the Fair Work Commission virtually every week and um, every issue that we wanted to raise, there was a, there was a stoush on and a, and a dispute and it was grinding the company back and we were facing real problems about our competitiveness in the market. I injected myself in the industrial relations. We were at, we were at war and, and there were signs on all trucks and a rolling series of strikes and I believe there was a better collaborative approach forward and so did Sally. Both myself and Kevin uh, met and you know, had a talk and said, okay, let's, let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go at doing it differently. And so we both um, approached the commission and asked them to facilitate uh, a process, which we did go through, and it took a year of good hard work um, to, uh, to have a different relationship. With uh, Deputy President Booth, we got together and had a conversation and said, is a leap of faith here, but do you actually think that we see a better way forward? And that's what we did. And there was a lot of people that said, this will never work. But it has worked. Peace has replaced war. We haven't had one single dispute that we've had to notify to the Fair Work Commission, not one. And it's now um, you know, two and a half years and I think that that's a real achievement that speaks for itself. From time to time we get into really difficult circumstances. There was one recently in, in uh, IT that we had to deal with. And on occasions, it's rare, we say to Deputy President Booth, can you come in and just help facilitate a discussion between us? The way it works now, it's very different. Uh, management will come to us with changes they want to make and they'll be open and honest about why they want to do it, what's driving it, what they're trying to achieve. And we'll be open and honest about what our interests are and uh, what we would uh, like to see out of that. Very consultative. We're very honest, it's very transparent. If we've got major issues um, with any part of the business, we sit down and we talk and we understand you know, why we need to make some reform. The Fair Work Commission was instrumental in bringing the parties together to forge the new relationship. The role of the Commissioner was absolutely essential um, to the changes. Deputy President Booth brought with her certain gravitas that couldn't come uh, from an independent facilitator. So she um, brought all of her skills to the table, but not just that, she had the authority of being a commissioner who was overseeing our relationships. It involved a lot of um, building of trust between us. Uh, it involved a lot of um, work by the commission really for us to um, put aside, um, not ignore, but put aside our previous grievances in some circumstances would go back 50 years on both sides to uh, work from a position of, okay, what do we agree on rather than what, what, um, what are we against? We agreed that we would have honest conversations with the different parts of the workforce. So in our civil area, we uh, went depot by depot. And for the first time we said, look, we've done benchmarking of how we're going against what the typical costs are in the market. And there's a gap. And we want to tell you the absolute truth. And 
and this is not um, disputed. The unions agreed that there was a gap and we said, look, we're not sure what the answers are, but we want to work with you and we want to close this gap and I think a fair time would be three years. And you can see the charts where I think we're two thirds of the way into the time frame, two years in and we've got two thirds of the savings we need and you can just see the change in the workforce. They're actually very proud of the work that they're, do they're doing and, and you can see morale improve. One part of the process was a two-day workshop convened by Deputy President Booth. Sydney Water Management and the union came together to jointly discuss the challenges facing the business. We had to spend a whole day and a whole night and a whole next day together, all facilitated by the Commission, and they were really key turning points in the relationship. It was one of the most honest two days that I've ever had. It was also good because uh, our members and, and the managers, you know, we never really think about how the other side perceives us. Um, and I think that that was a bit of a, um, a shock for both of us. I think in the past, the Fair Work Commission, you know, comes in when it's the... Uh, it's the time of hopeless causes when the parties are so far apart that you think, gee, how are you going to solve this one? And I know they do some, some magic there, but I, I do see the magic that they're doing now is actually bring the parties to prevent the disputations. And boy, in terms of you know, safety, customer service, morale of people in the business, it's just a lot more powerful model. We basically now use the Commission as, um, if I can call it, like a guardian of the relationship. So um, we will touch base with the Commissioner uh, now and again. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we'll seek um, her opinion about how to go forward on issues. I think I'll always want the Commission's involvement um, at times of new EBAs every you know, three or four years. But I'm hoping that will be a light touch. I'm hoping that, you know, that what we're doing working with the Commission is that we're, we're learning more and more how to work these problems out ourselves. Staff told us that they want to work in a business that works as a team and they wanted people to encourage one another to achieve their best and they wanted to set goals and they wanted the business to be successful. People don't actually like going to work and fighting all the time, um, they don't. Uh, you know, people, and we knew it because, you know, you're in touch with where your members are at, that uh, they wanted to go to work and feel happy and proud about their job. They wanted to trust their managers actually and they, you know, do want to work on the common good for the people of Sydney. I'm proud of what the organisation's done because Sally and I kicked off a bit of a dream of the future but it wouldn't have been anything without both sides knuckling in and just saying, look, we'll make it a reality. And, in the beginning people, as I said, this will never work, but it has worked and it's been highly successful. It's been one of the greatest things I think we've done as a business.